Oh, here comes that music, Big Chiefs. Huggies chat. Huggies. <laughs> Chiefs, brethren, it's hot. It's hot as hell. Let's keep it a stack. I don't know where you live. I know where I live. I live in Cali in a second floor apartment building. It's hot, bro. And you know about it's about to get really hot in here. Because we're about to watch some Quince episode five, and the title is Five Fifths. What? They're looking for the sisters, right? My man is playing Where's Waldo? Right? My girl just busted a wall down. Forgot her name, right? The one I like. Chica? No. What's her name, chat? Chica? I think that her name is Chica. Anyways, it's hot. Nah. <laughs> She busted a wall down. She's working at some type of job, right? That she doesn't want her sisters to find out, even though she's rich. I don't know why she needs a job. Regardless, she needs to clean that room, and then she'll be best girl. Anyways, we're going to get into it. Uh, I, I hope you can find every single girl. I'm going to cry by the end of this episode. If you guys are enjoying the Quinn stuff, do me a solid, please, Big Chiefs, and leave a like and a comment. I would truly appreciate it. Subscribe if you guys are new. Come over to the Twitch side of things so you guys can watch these episodes live with me every single Monday. And thank you to my patrons. We actually got a new patron today. Let me shout my boy out and everyone else out that joined the patron squad today because my boy Zan Axter joined the patron squad to enjoy the free, not the free, but the live reactions I've been posting on there. Cautious Hero episode six went live today when you guys are watching this. And Demon Slayer Mungan Train reaction is on there as well. If you guys are interested about that, make sure to go peep it. The full reactions are on there. Go support the boy. Thank you to my patrons. Love you guys. Thank you for supporting the boy. That being said, Big Chiefs, let's get started. Quintessential quintuplets. Fireworks. Yay. All right, Big Chiefs. Fireworks. Okay, I forgot that the fireworks show is still an hour long. I think by the end of the last episode, it was on at least like 30 minutes. I think. So, yo. Bro, how do you guys get lost, bruh? Where, where, where's the twin powers when you need them and you guys can just telepathically talk to each other? That's how twins work, right? Damn right, it's pretty. One hour fireworks show, by the way. What's taking him so long? I'm hurrying, girl. I'm. Oh my god. Damn, that, she did not like the acquaintances part. She's taking off the headset, Big Chief. <gasps> Bastard, she did. For why? Oh, he's getting wall down. Wall down. If y'all look the same, it won't matter if one of us isn't there. Um, that is definitely not true. We all know that. We all know that. Why are you going out of your way for us? Man, you guys are paying me. <laughs> I snuck out with I'm going to be in trouble. It was your coworker. Tell me your job. Oh, here comes that music, Big Chiefs. Huggies chat. Huggies. <laughs> oh no. Man, she knows she don't care. Look at her. She does it like every day. Poggers, by the way. All right, Chiefs, get a rockin'. Jammies in chat. And, um, yo. It's a shit show out there. True. It's a war zone. Bro, you know Ichika does not care about hugging my man. She probably does that on a daily basis. I didn't know what her job is, though. I wonder what the writer thought by putting five of these girls in there. Like, two or three wasn't enough. But let's do five. <laughs> Well, I get it's a harem. I, I get you. It's it, like, you had to throw in the five, bro. You had to throw in the five. I get you. I wonder who he ends up with. Nah. Is that new? Was that bathtub scene new? I don't remember. <laughs> Dance, Luke. I'm tired. Man, let's make it real convincing. I think you would have, wait, 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 I think you'd be, you'd have to be in a relationship to be in this situation. What? If I weren't for that, I don't think we would have been crossed paths. Bro, my mind, my man likes to speculate. Bro, just say, yo, thanks, we're friends, you know? Just be cool, bro. Look at her face, bro. Dumbfounded. 
What is her job, big fellas? <laughs> We're back to hugging, by the way. It's what I love doing more than anything else right now. But why does your room look like trash then? Huh? Why does your room look like trash? <laughs> why do you study? Boom. Like hit him like a... Because I have to pass high school, dog. It's going to be... What the fuck, bruh? Oh, no. Bro, she's just sitting up on this roof forever. I feel so bad for her. Like, this is this is how relationships get ruined. Yo! Like I said, my friends, when you lose signal like this, my friends and I always had an idea whenever we went to raves. Because when you go to a rave, right, there's going to be a big-ass amount of people, right? Imagine it starts at 6. It doesn't start getting pumped till 8. And then this, everything ends around like, you know, 1 or 2. Phone reception immediately goes out around like 7. Because all the people that are coming into the mix, you're basically, it's out, not out in the middle of nowhere, but out in like an industrial like area zone that doesn't have a lot of neighborhoods. So not a lot of telephone lines, all that jazz. We always thought to bring walkie-talkies. Obviously, they didn't think of head, but walkie-talkies would be goaded. Just saying. Because you, like, you know how frustrating it is trying to call somebody and no reception anywhere and you get lost? Like, yikes. My boy is be having epiphanies in this crowd. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. Post nut clarity like that. Man, speak up. Oh, my man. Saved by the bell, by the way. <laughs> this is so cheesy, bro. So cheesy. All right, bro. Young actress. Oh my God! Uh, you bastard! Why are you shooting me in my own house? Hi. Oh, what does she be doing, huh? What does she be doing, chat? Sports Illustrated? Nah. But Ichika has a really important audition now. What? Bro, you know it's not something sus. Keep it a buck, chat. Ah! Well, she's leaving just like that. Bye. Oh, she's good. <laughs> Look at her. She's good. She's happy, happy. My man is running after you. Did they go get a car? I'm assuming that's what it was. Yeah, okay. Bro, I know shit. <laughs> Why are you going our way out for us when you're just our tutor? Bro, we just said partner, though. We already established it was the partner stuff. Come on. I might finally be making my official debut. Oh, word. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, no. Male character practice, by the way. <laughs> no shot, bruh. Oh. Yay, chat. Poggers. Happy, by the way. <laughs> oh, no. His ego is being stroked. No, where's the kiss scene at? Nah. Oh. You're always doing that.
Who's? Who's my man speaking facts, bro? Shooting you to pay off that debt. Oh, he's speaking facts, bro. We're shooting the shit right here. Oh. Look at the drivers just sitting there, like, what the fuck, bro? Get in the car. <laughs> But get the fuck in the car, bro. My gas is running. The meter's on. Can't believe you noticed such a subtle change in me. Damn right. My man's a Chad. I can't even fool you. I'm starting to lose confidence here. Yeah, what about your acting skill, huh? Let's get it started. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're actually focused on studying and non distractions. <laughs> Get in the car, by the way. Oh, she's late, late. Oh, she's late, late. Like, super late. Then they're giving her a chance too. You know that would not fly. Bro, what? Shut the fuck up. You're smoking gas. <laughs> You're smoking crack, bro. No way she said that line better than all six of those girls put together, bro. <laughs> Sheesh! You love to see it, big fellas. Look at that bald guy. Starstruck. Let's go. That concludes the 14th annual Fall Fireworks Festival. That concludes the hour-long waste of money, bruh. <laughs> Snoozing. I'm personally becoming interested in you, too. What the fuck, G? Cut that shit out. <laughs> Hell yeah. A little walk home. A little walk home in the moonlight. Although this isn't as impressive as the fireworks show earlier, bro. I would be so tired of fireworks by now, bro. I'd rather just have gone out to eat with everybody, get some Korean barbecue or some shit. Like, this is OD. Bro, can't you just be like, good job, you helped out? There we go. <laughs> there we go. I was about to say, if she's about a bitch, I'm going to get mad. I hope you guys know. I'm going to keep it a straight 100p, 100 stack. Putting headphones right here and having them there for a long period of time is fucking abysmal. Like, I don't know about you, I can't have my earphones here for more than 10 minutes, or that shit feels so uncomfortable. Is that just me? That girl does that shit for a day. She sleeps with those things on. Why didn't you contact us? The f phones weren't working? What's up, Bible? It's all, it's my fault, chat. Let's keep it a stack. They're all saying it's their fault, but it's actually my fault. But somehow, though, just somehow, just a little bit, it's the girl's fault. Just a little bit more, though. Nah! It's always my fault, bros. It's always my fault. What is this? Episode 5 and Ichika's already best girl, bro? That's crazy. They're enjoying the fireworks. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to go home, though? If anything, this is going to ruin him and his studies more than anything else. You can get let go of that one, can you? Oh, is that symbolism? Is that symbolism here, Chiefs? Oh, this is definitely symbolism. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> you bastard. 
Bro, look at the fit though. Look at the fit. Look at the, look at the chica's fit. Got the yellow convies, bro. Some short shorts, you know what I'm saying? And the T. Mm. <laughs> Zoned out, snoozed out, tired as fuck. <laughs> Slept. All right, cool. I, oh, trivia? I'm good on the trivia, big fellas. All right, cool. Wish that was me, bro. One day, bro. One day. <sighs> All right. That was a good episode, big fellas. That was that was pretty funny. Let's keep it a, let's keep it a stack. Pretty funny, funny all around. I, I mean, bro, Ichika's a you know what I'm saying Ichika's just. I mean, I know we're just five episodes in, right? But we can already tell, and we already know the vibe, bro. What's up, little flowers? We already know the vibe. Just best girl all around. If you guys disagree with me, let me know who you guys think is the best girl. But I mean, five episodes in, let me know when your best girl's coming. Let me know when your best girl's coming, because I don't see it any day of the week, any anytime, anywhere. Can't wait for next week's episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode with me, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you guys are new. Come over to the Twitch side of things so you guys can watch these episodes live with me. And thank you to my patrons. If you guys are curious about Cautious Hero, live reactions, and Moongin Train Demon Slayer reaction as well, the whole movie, go check out the Patreon. Down in the description below. Go support your boy. With that being said, Big Chiefs, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic rest of your day. Another day, another anime. This is your bro for another mother. Peace out, y'all. Great jump. There we go. That's, aye, that's shallow water. That was three feet. Ah, your, your shit's getting shattered, though, bro. You're going to have to.